Today I have another new box and this one I was super excited about receiving because who doesn't like the smell of bread or pastry baking in your oven. This is a uh, membership and you can receive it uh, monthly or every two months. You can adjust your schedule once you jo uh, join. And I wanted to open this up right away because it is packed in dry ice. And this was reviewed uh, in the Boston Globe and on CBS, Edible Boston and uh, BuzzFeed and, and it received all positive reviews. Right, so let's uh, open this up. You can see that how it's packed. There's some foam here. Ooh, lots of goodies. And with this box, you receive eight brioche uh, rolls in every single box. So you can see inside the box here. Let me hold it up a little higher. Okay, here it is. Okay, we have here, ooh, now that looks lovely. This is slow fermented cranberry pecan bread. It says we use the old way of making bread with yeast that ferments for 20 hours from start to finish, providing nutrients you don't find at the supermarket. Fiber rich brand proteins, probiotics, and vitamin rich germs. Okay, and it gives you the directions. It says preheat regular oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Put frozen loaf on middle rack without a baking sheet. Bake 18 to 22 minutes until crust is dark golden brown. Let cool at least 20 minutes to finish the bake and then enjoy. That looks lovely. Okay, Let's see what else we have here. This looks like sourdough bread, lovely. Uh, sourdough rosemary garlic bread. We use the old way of making bread with wild yeast that takes 36 hours from start to finish, providing nutrients you don't find at the supermarket. Fiber-rich brand proteins, probiotics, and vitamin-rich germs. Okay, this one you preheat the oven to 450. You pre place a frozen loaf in the middle rack without a baking sheet, and you bake 18 to 24 minutes, and you cool for at least 30 minutes. Okay, and now in here, we have sourdough bread. Same thing about the ingredients. Uh, preheat oven to 450, frozen sheet in the middle of rack of the oven, 18 to 24 minutes, cool for 20. And um, I wanted to mention for the first 50 uh, people who sign up for this, I have a referral code down below. Um, you will receive it um, I believe it's $20, $10 off your first box. So that is for the first 50 people who sign up. And I will put uh, the code down below. The discount code is Senior Sue. And I have a referral link down there that you can click on if you are interested. Okay, so here are my free rolls. This is fantastic. Slow fermented brioche rolls. And let's see what else. Ooh, pumpkin cinnamon rolls. That looks great. Now I have to decide what I'm going to bake for you and show you. Okay, line a baking tray with parchment paper. Separate pairs of rolls and place two inches apart in the oven in the middle rack. Okay, and what else do we have? Oh, pasta. Oh my gosh, this is a great box. Okay, boil salted water in a large pot, ideally at eight quart. Uh, gently add the pasta frozen, stirring frequently to separate it. Cook six to eight minutes. Okay, so pasta. This is the fettuccine, and this is the tom tone tonarelli. There you go. So here is that. Okay, this is a great box. There are a lot of ingredients here, and like I said, you do not have to receive it every month but you do need to sign up and you can adjust your schedule if you want it every two months or, or skip a month or two. Um, so here are all the items, the pasta, pumpkin cinnamon rolls, the free brioche rolls, sourdough bread, more sourdough bread with the, uh, what was this? I thought it was the raisin one. Oh, the sourdough rosemary garlic bread and the regular sourdough bread. 
and this cranberry pecan bread. That sounds delicious. Okay, um, I am going to get everything set up and we will get started on baking these items, some of the items. I decided to uh, bake the cranberry pecan bread, so all I need to do is get it out of the freezer. My oven is already preheated, and I just unwrap it and put it on the shelf, middle shelf of my oven. So let me get it out and I'll show you. All right, here is the cranberry pecan bread. So the instructions are preheat regular oven to 400, which I did. Put frozen loaf on middle rack without a baking sheet. Bake 18 to 22 minutes until crust is a dark golden brown. And then after that, I let it cool at least 20 minutes to finish the bake. Okay, so I'll open this up. really looking forward to tasting this and I think a cup of coffee would be great with it. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the middle rack of my oven. And that is it. It's that easy. Okay, I will be back in a second when it's done. Okay, the bread is out of the oven. It's cooled down for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna slice into it and see how it, how it is. I'll slice a couple pieces here. Ooh, looks good. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on it. Boy, the inside looks perfect. Okay, we'll give it a try. It's really good. I can't taste the cranberry, though. Let me slice another piece. It's cranberry pecan. I thought maybe I'd see it throughout here, but maybe it's just the flavoring. It is really good. Really good. Well, I would recommend, if you are interested, click on the referral link down below. And the discount code is Senior Sue, and I will also put that down below. And I want to thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.